Example 2.4 How much money should you be willing to pay now for a guaranteed $600 per year for 9 years starting next year at a rate of return of 16% per year? Okay, so the problem starts us, uh, by asking us how much money, so that's the unknown, should you be willing to pay now? Okay, so now this is the starting of the problem. So you want to know the present or the principal amount. So that's going to be your P. We start off with the unknown. For a guaranteed 600, okay, so you have an amount here, but then you have the keyword or the magic word over here per year. So every time you have an amount that it is repeated annually, that means that this is going to be your A. So the A will be equal to 600 per year. Then it says for 9 years. So there you go, you have your N. N equals to 9 years. Starting next year, this is also, you can use it as part of um, the keyword for the annual because remember that the A starts one year after the principal. So it has to start in year one. And then it says add a rate of return of 16% per year. You have your I at 16% per year. Now let's draw the diagram. It's uh, nine years that we need to draw. So there you go, nine. And I just start with zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let me add one more over here, nine. and nine years okay so we know that the P is now and it's how much you're willing to pay so it's gonna go down that's the P the unknown then we said that a starts next year so it should start in year one and you're gonna have nine of these three four five six seven eight nine uniform cash flows so this is going to be your A, 600 per year. Do not forget to note your I. So I'm just going to put in here wherever it fits. 16% per year. Okay. And we said that we need to find P and we have A given in the problem. So that's the case. Let's go back to the notes. Okay. So you have uh, a section, in section uh, 2.2 you have the uniform series factors and we're going to be using this one right here, find P given A. Uh, same process as last time, uh, in this case you have the formula, everything inside the bracket is going to be your factor. So whatever numbers you plug in here after you solve it, it's going to be the same number or the same amount as if you go to the table and look up this factor right here. Okay. And similarly, you have an Excel function that you can also use to find the present value. Okay, So we're going to be using all three of these uh, to solve the same problem. Okay, so let's go back to the problem. Uh, so let's use the, the tabulated first, tabulated factor first. So you have P equals 600, which is your A, and then it's going to be find P given A. Remember that the first letter is the one that you're trying to find, and the second one, the one given. You insert the I, and then the N, which is for nine years. Okay, so it's going to be equal to 600, and then we're going to look this up in our factor tables. So you open your factor table, 
you identify the 16% factor table. Then for this one, we're going to be using a different column. We're going to use the find P given A. Okay, so we already did uh, in the previous examples the single payments, which are the find P given F and the find, uh, I mean, find F given P and find P given F. But now we're jumping into uniform series, which are going to include an A. Okay, so in this case, we're looking for uh, yeah, find P and we have given A, so we're going to be focusing on this column right here. Then we're going to look for nine years and the number where these two intersect, it's going to be 4.6065. So this is the number that I'm going to plug in instead of my factor right here. So it's going to be 600 times 4.6065. If you multiply this, you will get 2,763.90. Okay, so this is the answer for the factor notation. AKA the tables. So we say you're gonna hear a lot. We're using the tables. So that's that means the factor notation. Okay. Now, if we want to go with the formula, we have find p, a, and then we have the brackets. Here you're gonna have one plus i to the n. Make sure that you plug in this correctly in the calculator if you're doing it this way. Uh, have your parentheses where they're supposed to go, etc. Don't just raise the i to the n. It has to be 1 plus i raised to the n. Then the whole thing minus 1. Also, I have a lot of uh, errors here. Sometimes they put n to the n minus 1. So no, it's raised to the n and then minus 1. Then this is going to be over i 1 plus i to the n. So we just plug in the values here. We have A equal uh, to 600. Then in the brackets, uh, we're going to put the first one. It's going to be 1 plus 16%, which in this, is, this case is going to be 0.16. Raise it to the ninth power, minus 1. And then uh, the denominator, it's going to be 0.16. 1 plus 0 0.16 to the ninth power. I'm going to do it separate. So we have the 600. And if you solve for the bracket, you're going to get a number with some decimals right here. I'm going to round it uh, up. So I'm going to have four point around 4.59. So you can see it's very close to uh, the factor. But you can use more decimals if you want just trying to simplifying it here if you do that you will get 2754.10 which is close enough to the other value so it is still acceptable so right here I'm just gonna notate that this is the answer using the formula Kay. now the third way of solving this problem is using the Excel function so we're looking for p. That means that we're going to use the function for the present value. Okay, so the function would have the following parameters: the percentage, n, a, and f. Okay. So remember that we're not going to have all of them. We you have to have at least one of the capital letters. So the way you're going to plug this, uh, or you're going to type in this in Excel, it's going to be equal. PV, you're going to type in the 16%, 9, A, which is 600. We do not have an F in this problem, so we can just go ahead and close the parentheses. Because remember, if you are missing one of the parameters uh, at the end, you can just close the parentheses. If we were missing one of the parameters in between, let's say, the A, for example, you have to put the comma and then the next parameter. But in this case, it's the F, so we can just go ahead and close it. 
So if we go to Excel, I'm going to type in equal PV. We need the rate 16%. N is 9. And we said that A is 600. So you're going to get uh, an answer of $2,763 with 93 cents, which is also very close to what we got um, on our first solution. And in this case, well, we got the negative result because the arrow is supposed to go down. So the answer for this one would be $2,750. Uh, oh, sorry, copying the wrong one. Uh, 2,763.93 okay, and this is using Excel so you can use any of these three on well, the exam you won't be able to use the computer so scratch out Excel um, but you can use any of these two the easiest one would be the factor notation because it will sa save you some steps from the formula.